Welcome back, everybody, to Spartan Nation Radio. We're now joined by Spartan Nation senior writer, the great John Shop. John, we're going to talk about. John joins us each and every week to talk about the state of MSU athletics. <clears throat> we just did a segment with him talking football. If you missed it, you can catch the podcast. Um, but John, now I want to turn our attention to basketball. Um, obviously, the tragedy in the Winston family um, it has has impacted. Cassius. Then we know Xavier Tillman's wife going through having the baby, and thank the Lord she had a baby, and it was she's healthy, and the baby's healthy. But then there's so much going on. The disappearance of Aaron Henry. So much going on, and a bright spot to me is the the fighting and the bursting forth. I think he's got a chance to be a real star of Rocket Watts. You just tell me what's the state of MSU basketball. Well. I think in a word, it's upset, and here's what I mean by that. The team that was a preseason number one team was project itself because of, I think, three NBA players. The second or third best player on the team, Joshua Langford, expected to come back and contribute and produce and get stronger through the year. You take that away, and you have the tragedy that affects the team, and things just end up being upset. When this unfortunate tragedy happened and you got past it and to think about what kind of impact it would have on the team, of course you thought back to the 2016 football team. People forget too much about what happened to that specific football team. With the loss of Mike Seidler, with the loss of Milan Hicks during season, I think it upset that team. And when you're upset in that kind of situation, you don't see a lot of teams, especially at the college level, regroup and refresh completely until the next year. So I think you're seeing a team that is upset a little bit, and I don't think that it's going to get all the way right this year, and it's not necessarily their fault. There's really not much they can do about it. Now, you've asked this team to reboot and redefine itself during the season, and a little bit earlier it seemed like they were on their way and and they had something that may be working. Now you see them searching. You see them a little bit more uncertain. You see them having trouble... Uh, playing to their best in the clutch. We're now at a point where the Big Ten looks like it's out of question. And I wonder if that may be a small blessing in disguise because this is the point where they've got their last chance, if you will, to get healthy, refresh, reboot, and come up with a plan for how to play their best. As we were talking a year ago, we were talking about, I think, the uh, loss of Nick Ward and the fact that, you know, there wasn't a whole lot this team could do the rest of the way, and they pulled off the biggest surprising run in Tom Izzo's career. I'm not sure what to expect from this group, but I am sure that they are right now searching, and they need to find a way to put everything that's kind of happened, if they can put it behind them and focus on what they can do from here, I still think they can maybe have more success in the tournament than they've had in the regular season. John, let's talk about certain players. I want you to give me your thoughts on them. What do you think of Mar- Julius Marble and Malik Hall? I think Malik Hall is the next superstar in the making for Michigan State basketball. I'm not sure he's going to be a truly special uh, player in the Izzo era like you've seen Winston and Xavier Tillman, Draymond Green develop into. But when I see Malik Hall, I see the signs that we like to see. The court awareness, the basketball IQ, the just knack of being in the right place at the right time. I think you're talking about a guy that I'm going to expect to develop very, very well and play at a high Big Ten level, and I think he's got a chance to be special. Julius Marble is an interesting guy to me because he doesn't get a lot of minutes, but he seems to do sometimes a lot with those minutes. I like the size at 6'8 and you know somewhere around 230. I like the opportunity that he's got to develop because it looks like he's got the physical skills and some of the mental makeup to put himself together to be a successful and contributing starter. So I think there's enough. I think that there's not a lack of talent on this team. I, I just think it got upset and they couldn't put it all back together. But listen, there's still a lot of ball to play. You know, if we see a guy catch fire, whether it's Gabe Brown or whether Rocket Watts to find even find another gear, it wouldn't be a stun to me. Now, I'll tell you what I am interested in. How healthy is Kyle Lawrence? Because if I remember correctly, Kyle Lawrence made a lot of clutch plays last year. 
And if he gets healthy and can do that again, you're going to see a Michigan State basketball team that is difficult to beat. I remind folks at this time of year, you don't need to be the best team in the NCAA tournament. You need the most difficult team to knock out. John, let's now talk Rocket Watts. I'm, I'm a buyer on this kid. Your thoughts on the Rocket? There's no replacement for game experience. So you feel for these guys to come in with such high expectation and people think they're just going to immediately tear it up at the college level. Well, now we're into February, pretty deep, and I think we're starting to see this is a scorer that's got some explosiveness, some skills, and some touch that we haven't seen in a while. I'm high on Rocket Watch for the future. The future may be as soon as next year, meaning you could see him take off big time. But uh, I don't know, to be honest with you, if he's got um, the fifth-year highest-level superstar talent. I don't know if his height is going to be a limitation at some point, but I am excited that we're going to see a guy starting next year that's scoring in the double digits. And if he went on a big run the rest of the way or if he got hot in the tournament, it wouldn't surprise me because what I think we're starting to see is that there's a confidence inside of Rocket Watts, and it is starting to blossom on the bigger stage as we go on. Talk to me about Marcus Bingham Jr. Marcus Bingham Jr. is one of the skinnier guys I remember setting my sights on as far as coming in as a Michigan State freshman. Holy moly, was this guy skinny. That was an issue. Not as much of an issue now. I think he's starting to get his sea legs underneath him, if you will. I think he's starting to get his sea legs um, underneath him. I also think that he's a guy, generally speaking, understands how he can contribute. He's got incredible length. He can be a successful shot blocker. He can affect shots. I think he's starting to understand more and get a better feel for positioning relative to rebounding and what what really Michigan State basketball is built on, defensive rebounding, and what his role can be there. So the more each guy on this team, and they still there's some young guys that say it's only a sophomore, the more reps they get, we're starting to see them reach a point where it's affecting how they play, it's affecting how they subconsciously think on the court, and we're starting to see different signs that they can put things together. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is there's more horsepower on this team than we've seen yet. I, I don't know if we're going to get to see anything. Yeah, I I'm agree excited with, about the horsepower. I agree with you. John, we got 45 seconds and we have a hard break. Thomas Kithier. Thomas Kithier's got to get healthier. I like the contributions. It's a role player, traditional Michigan State basketball guy that's easy to root for. Gabe Brown. Gabe Brown is struggling. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but we know it's in there. If he can stay within himself, I think he's going to have a productive rest of the year. Last one, John, but I think it's an important one. Aaron Henry, we know he's got all the tools. What's he got to do to get to get out of his funk? 15 seconds. I think he's just got to try hard to not try too hard, and that is difficult to do. I agree. He is the one and only the great Spartan Nation senior writer, Johnny Shop. That is the state of Michigan State basketball. State.